What's up, YouTube? Welcome to episode 8. And as you can see, I am using the night vision goggles that I got last episode. Um, I'll give you a little bit of background as to what I'm doing right now. And I am. I'm going to raid the Northwest Airfield. And I'm going to get into those barracks and try to take what I can. Um, I know I said I wouldn't do it because the last time I went there I got killed by somebody who had night vision goggles, but this time it's different because I've got the night vision goggles, so I'll be on an even playing field. And uh, to be honest, I think that it's probably the best place to get what I'm looking for, which right now is a DMR. I really need a DMR to accomplish my goal of hunting down the groups of bandits that are on my server. So the DMR in particular is good because uh, you can use its scope with night vision goggles. Uh, it's not quite as accurate as something like the M24, but it gets the job done at most, most ranges. So that's what I'm looking for. Um, oh great, the zombies are coming this way. Oh no, they're not. Alright. I know there's a deer stand here. I figured I would just hit up the deer stands, because if I find a DMR before I get to the airfield, there's really no reason to go inside. But, I am, I mean, if I find something really awesome, like an M4 that's silenced, I'll take that. I'll take that any day. Oh, whoa, there's morphine up on this deer stand. Yes, please. Morphine and some food. That's yeah, pretty good haul. But, um... Oh, Stanag, too. I need some of that. G17 mag. I don't really need that. But I will take this morphine. Oh, it's not can of food, it's soda. Oh well. A hunting knife, I don't need one. Yeah. Alright. Well, it's a promising start. Hopefully we'll get something good in the next one. But, um... Yeah, my long-term goal is I will keep hitting these deer stands and high concentration uh, loot spawns all the way down to the southern coast. And the reason I'm doing that is I want to go back to the cities on the southern coast. I want to see Cherno and Electro again because I haven't been there in a long time. And... Uh, I know I said I would avoid these kinds of places, but really, now that I've got the night vision goggles, I don't see why not. And uh, I'm not really that worried about the other survivors who are probably going to be in those places, because now that I've got night vision goggles, it's an even playing field. Anyone who has night vision goggles we have, you know, equal chances of seeing each other, and if I see them first, then they're done for, and vice versa, but it's a much better chance than it was with me going in uh, without the night vision goggles where the night looks like this. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I'm looking up right now, if you can't tell, but it's pitch black. <laughs> There's nothing there. You can't see crap on this moonless night. But with these night vision goggles, everything is is visible. So yeah, I'm not too worried. Alright, I will cut here and resume when I get closer to the airfield. Okay, so here we are. The Northwest Airfield. That's the outer wall. And uh, I've actually been here three times before, but all the previous times that I passed through here, I, it was during the night time, and I didn't have night vision goggles, so if I had recorded it, it would just would have been a black screen with me talking, 
and that wouldn't have been very interesting. So now that I've got night vision goggles, I'll actually uh, film it for you, and hopefully this will go well. Um, since it's nighttime and it's raining, the body temperature is going to be pretty low, so I'm going to go ahead and use a heat pack to just preempt the temperature trouble before it even happens. Okay, I guess I can go in through here, but I do need to keep my eyes out because the last time I was here, which was only a few days ago, I got shot down like a punk at that same barracks that I put the waypoint on, so... Uh, there's no gap in the fence, so I need to go farther down. So this is to try and keep my eyes open. Hopefully I won't get seen, because that would just... Uh, that would be horrible. <laughs> I don't want to lose my night vision goggles on my first sign out with them. But, the game isn't fun if you don't take some risks, I suppose. So here we are, at the Northwest Airfield. Alright. Not seeing anything so far, but I'm also not that close to the airstrip either. I should be able to see the airfield from the other side of this tree line. What I'm going to do is get to the edge and take a lot of binoculars and see if I can see zombies. Like those zombies right there. But I think I spawned them, hopefully. Hmm. I really hope I spawned those guys. Pretty sure I did. So I'm not too worried. Alright, let's get to where I can see down the airfield and take out the binoculars and see what there is to see. Okay, starting with over there. Uh, Alright, looks clear. Looks clear as far as I can see in this strange fog. So, which is only to the control tower. And the barracks are on the other side of that other tree line, so I do have to go around. I'm not going to visit the hangars, to be honest, because they're too vulnerable. Even at nighttime, I don't want to go in there because anybody with a DMR. Oh shit. Anybody with a DMR could just sit there and have an easy shot at you every time you go in. And there's really not that high of a chance of there being good loot in there. At least nothing that you couldn't just get at a deer stand. So there's really no point in taking the risk, I think. But the barracks, on the other hand, this place is the only place on the whole map where you can get that kind of gear. So the barracks are definitely worth hitting up. There's no point in coming to the airfield if you're not going to hit the barracks. You don't come here for the fire station or the control tower. That's just chump change compared to the barracks. Because that fire station you can find in other cities. Uh, you can find it every other airfield. Same with the radio control tower. Every airfield. So why? Why would you come here and then only hit those bar those places? Alright, so I didn't see any zombies, so it's looking good. Um, that doesn't mean there's nobody out there. They just may be on the perimeter like I was. Uh, it's hard to tell. I think I spawned those guys too, but they're going in the wrong direction if I spawn them. So what I'll do is keep my eye on that gate because I think somebody might come from that direction. Because that's where the guy got me from last time. It was that damn gate. And I couldn't see shit. Alright, just 
just gotta make the run. Oh, the gate's closed. <laughs> It'd be funny. Oh, zombies, shit. It'd be funny as hell if somebody opened that gate and broke their legs on it. <laughs> uh, I hope their hearing isn't too good tonight, the zombies. They shouldn't be able to see me unless they get really close, but they might be able to hear me, which is the real danger, I suppose, when it comes to the zombies. There's a rabbit. Alright, what do we got out there? Nothing. Alright, so I'm going to hit this barracks, and then I'm going to run across the airfield and hit the other barracks, and then get out and head towards Starry Silver, if I don't find it, something really good in here. Alright, let me be a little quieter. I mean, I really, really do not want to fire this AK, because the sound will carry, and every zombie within 150 meters of here will be running at me. Alright, what have we got in here? Uh, oh, what's that? Uh, DMR mag, I'll take that. I don't need the flare. What? It sounded like he was aggroed. I better be careful. There might be somebody else here. I mean, I got ambushed coming out of this place, so I'm not going to just assume. Alright, I'll take that because I have some AKs that need it back at my camp. Another DMR mag, hopefully there's a DMR in here, otherwise it's just a waste of time. I don't need more bandages. Um, Painkillers, why not? I think I'm short of those. I ended up losing them because I dropped the backpack sometime earlier. Uh, I don't need more AKM Max. But, I mean, I'll probably have to drop. If I find a good gun, then I'm just going to have to drop this shit anyway, so. Uh, nothing. Another Stanag. I guess I do need that. Yeah, there's no good guns. Maybe somebody took them already. Oh, that's a disappointing loot spawn. There's nothing good there. <laughs> that's just like generic loot. Alright. It doesn't look too suspicious. And how am I going to get all the way across the airfield? Let me uh, find that other barracks building which I believe is this one. I can also refill my water bottle at that one, because I think there's a water fountain. Yeah, alright. This is going to be a little reckless, but... I think I'm good. I think I can take this risk. Let's just hope nobody's got a DMR. <laughs> and my feet pounding on this tarmac doesn't alert the zombies. I just gotta get across into that tree line and then I can move my way down and hit that barracks. I don't really care about all these industrial spawns. I don't need spare car parts at the moment. Alright. I'm not seeing any zombies down that direction, so if anybody's here, they're coming from behind me. Which is good and bad, I suppose. Good because they'll be too distracted by the loot in that barracks, which was disappointing to say the least. Uh, which might give me time to get away.
All I can hope for is that somebody didn't fortify that barracks building, because I've seen that on some servers before, perusing YouTube, that people will like, they'll fortify, uh, put up barricades and things around the door to the barracks so that people can't get in, because there's only one door. And then what they do is they just server hop and just basically get their pick of the loot, which is a, which is a douche move. I mean, seriously. I mean, if you're gonna game the game, then what the fuck is the point of playing it? I mean... Yeah. Part of the fun of getting the loot is the struggle to earn it. If you don't have to actually do anything to earn it, then... It defeats the purpose for me, anyway. So, I mean, if you have to fight for your the loot that you have, you have to, or you have to endure a ton of zombies or whatever, or you have to endure the search, <laughs> and just the luck of the draw and trying to find the damn stuff, then all that, all that makes it worth it in my mind. Yeah, that control tower is clear. Wait, what is that? Let me double check what that is. I haven't actually seen this place clearly before since it was always so dark. Yeah, I'm not going into those hangars. Well, I mean, it's pretty clear. I, I don't think anybody's here right now, so I might actually be able to get away with going into the hangars. We'll see. I don't really need anything that I'll find in there, though. Well, I suppose the DMR could spawn in one, which I guess would be a good reason for me to go in there. Hopefully this barracks won't disappoint me. Oh, there's zombies coming out. Look at them. Oh, I don't like this. Wait, what is that? Is that a cow or something? Oh, it's a sheep. Alright, I was worried for a second. I thought maybe it was a zombie out there, and there's no way I spawned one from that far away. Alright. I guess I'll be a little bit quieter. I'm this close now, there's no point in screwing it up by trying to rush things. Alright, just gotta get around this building, and it should be there. And then I can refill my canteen as well. I'm gonna check, make sure my AK is on semi. Good thing I checked. Because seriously, it's hard to aim this thing on full auto. <laughs> But semi-auto, it's good, it's manageable. Oh, there's gaps over there. I guess I'll go that way. Uh, never mind, the zombie's going that way. Okay. Wow, I don't know how they saw me. Son of a bitch. Let me in, let me in. I don't know how they can... Well, that's a little disturbing. Alright, I'm taking no chances while they're following me around like that. Get a little distance before I start moving fast again. Wait, what the hell was that? Alright, I just, I need to get into the damn barracks building. Can't get distracted by the damn zombies. Oh, there's a lot of zombies. 
like a whole, uh, whole army of them. Just for me. Isn't that nice? Hate zombies. Alright. Wow. There's more of them. Are you kidding? Alright. Let's cross the road without making too much noise. Or is it getting brighter or something? Okay, it is getting a little brighter. Because the clouds are clearing up. But that shouldn't... Alright. What do we got there? Something in bags. Probably ammo. I'll check it. It's probably nothing that good, but... Who knows? It might be something I need. M203 Flare G17 mag I do not need. I no longer need flares. I have got night vision goggles. Alright. This is taking a little bit longer than I prefer. Oh man, there's so many of them. Seriously, there's gotta be like... 50 or 60 of these guys at this airfield. They're everywhere. Water fountains out here somewhere too. Okay, well, the door's on this side. There's the water fountain. I'll refill that after I check and. See. Oh my. Okay, yeah, I'm taking that shit. <laughs> that, my friends is an amazing weapon. Uh, let me make some room for this honored guest. Well, actually, let's do this the right way. Gear. Alright, let's drop this AK-74 stuff. I don't need it anymore. Do I have room for it? Yeah? I need this Stanag, though. Um, let me drink this. Make some room. Alright, I'll keep the AK for now, but if I find a sniper rifle, I'm dropping the AK so that I can keep this gun. Oh, why the hell is there a bench here? The hell? Oh, morphine, yes. And a heat pack. I'll drop the smoke, I don't need smoke. Morphine. There's a shit ton of painkillers that I don't really need anymore. Alright, that's good enough. Let's look for the big stuff and stop uh, getting distracted by the... What's this? Binoculars? Yeah, I don't need more binoculars. Uh, trash. AKM. DMR, AKM mag, military flashlight that I should already have, but I don't, so that was a good find. Even though I'm never going to need it, I can drop it off at my camp just in case one day I lose my sniper or night vision goggles. Eh, no. Nothing I need. Yeah, just more ammo. Alright, well... Well, that was a decent haul. It was worth it just for that uh, hollow sight M M4 with the grenade launcher. And it just so happens that I've got a ton of high explosive M203 grenades at my uh, camp. So I might actually switch to that thing. 
we'll see. We'll, we will see. Let's drink this and then refill it real quick. Actually, yeah, how many Stanag do I have in there? Stanag 2. Yeah. Let's just look at it. Okay. Alright, what do we got here? big fan of it with the night vision goggles. It's kind of weird looking. Oh, I gotta eat. But, yeah, there's no point in using it now while I don't have um, the grenades for it, but this will take a prized location. Uh, have my camp once I'm done. So actually, yeah, I'm gonna go back to my camp and take the thing. Alright. Yeah. Alright, so I'm out of here and I will cut and resume farther along on my journey to the southern coast.